Golden Trinat, Mogwai here, and I got the last episode of React and the Free Beautiful Mofos today as we will be reacting to the Echo Reveal. I had to actually search this on, on YouTube because I knew it was supposed to go up like at 6, but for some reason it's not showing in the actual Legends of Runeterra uh, YouTube page. And this is not a fault from like Riot or anything, it's actually YouTube just being YouTube. I'm actually used to, you know, bugs like this, so I was like, you know what, even though the video is not popping up, I, I'm pretty sure if I search for it, <laughs> it actually shows, and indeed it did. So, yeah, uh, pretty irrelevant information for you, but it's taken me a while to actually like set it up, basically. But, uh, yeah, I am recording, right? Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at Echo. This is the champion that I was most excited for because I love the character. Uh, I actually watched the, uh, the champion teaser for League of Legends and, and a bunch of other clips from him on, on stream a while back, you know, back when I used to stream. And uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this champion uh, arriving for Legends of Runeterra for such a long time, and I am super hyped. I assume that his ability will have to do something with Predict, but that's pretty much all I can really think about. I have no idea what else he'll do, so I am just really eager. So without further ado, let's click on the video, leave a like, uh, wait, let's go max screen and let's adjust the screen. There we go. We're HD, right boys? All right, let's do this. Never had luck, never needed it. Never new needed tech, it. New tricks, uh, new day. Oh, four, okay, I, I didn't even think it was gonna be a four drop. That already surprised me. A four mana, four two, so a bit of an understated uh, four drop. Quick, quick attack and says strike, create a fleeting time trick in hand. Level up, you've predicted five times. That's actually not that hard to achieve. So he is linked to prediction, but it's more so with his level up than anything else. Like his his uh his ability is to generate a time trick. We're gonna see what that does. A new zone. A new zone. What's up, Kay? I was waiting for you. Oh, what time means anything to you? Practice makes perfect. What is time trick? Oh, wait, wait, time trick is the, uh, oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we already saw this card. I was like, wait, what is that card? Yeah, this is actually a really good card in case you're wondering. We were talking about it in yesterday's reveal. Um, and I, the more I think about it, the more I, th I feel like this card can fit into a plethora of PNZ cards. I do feel like it's a little bit overrated by some people, though, because it is not generating you card advantage, and you are paying two mana, right? But for any sort of reactive PNZ deck, this card seems pretty legit. So, uh, very, very cool to see that Echo will generate. Is it? It's fleeting, though, right? Like, let me go back for a second just to make sure. Yeah, it's a fleeting time trick. So, when you play him, I mean, it does allow you to predict, though. So, it, it does contribute towards your level up. But it's, it's important to know that uh, it is fleeting. So, you can't just use it later. You have to use it the same turn that you strike. All right. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> All right, I dig it. Sweet. We're on this timeline. What's up, show me? Like in the new book. Ah, she, she has spawned. Okay. okay. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Hello, tomorrow. And she spawns again. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, 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 what? What, what was that? Oh, that just tr triple chrono break? Revive all allies that died this round, then... Wait, what? Wait, but this is shit. Wait, I'm confused. Future is whatever I need. Oh, I love it. Oh, wait, it stops. Okay, so now this makes sense. Okay, so he's making when he levels up. I assume that that's what was happening because I didn't see the rare gem at the bottom of the cards. When I level up, create three chrono bricks in your deck. Strike, uh, create a fleeting zero cost time trick in hand. So you're able to just draw, like he just draws you every time you strike. If you combine Echo with a region like, you know, Demacia with Civil Combat, or even Bilgewater with Bone Skewer, amongst other things, like you can actually, there's a lot of neat region combinations that can generate a lot of value with this guy. Think fast! That guy's good old thrust ass. <laughs> Standard Got massacre. Me. I love that. The cycle of life and death. And death. Yeah, I heard you before, big guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Draw one, create a parallel convergence in your deck. Okay, that's a very slow, like, okay, two mana slow speed is just drawing and you create a, what, I wonder what that is. I do my own stunts. Start a free attack with an exact ephemeral copy of each ally. What the fuck? Oh my God, dude. Oh, this is so busted. Oh, I love it. I, so basically generating cards in predicting form. So Echo is indeed a predict champion. But I want to take a look at the card that he generated before again. Because that card seems insane. Three mana won that rally. It even has my favorite champion in it. So you play this and whatever you have on the board just gets to attack for free. And if it includes Echo, you will strike, which means you generate another time trick, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's like, oh my god, this card is nuts! Revive all allies and die this round, then rally. I, I love the thematic. I, I just love everything about this card. It just, it really makes sense with, with Echo as a character and what he does. It has rally. It has my favorite champion incorporated. It's just like, it's like my favorite champion doubled. So. Uh, rewind! And it can combine with conversions as well. Oh, this is sick. This is my future. The predict champion, baby. That oh, and you, you oh my god, dude. The value. He's a value engine. He's a legit value engine. Like, if if you're able to combine all these every time you strike, and like I said, combining him with other regions that allow you to 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 strike with him will just generate you more and more card advantage, you know? And, and it feels, I mean, honestly, his level up requirement does not feel that difficult to achieve at all. Like five predicts, considering all the crazy amount of predicts that we are getting, it, it really does feel achievable. Obviously, the first thing that comes to mind is combining him with Shirima. Though I do believe there are, many, like the problem if you combine him with another region that's not focused or does not have access to proper prediction is that uh, even though you may gain, gain access to level him up, you're going to rely purely on Piltover and Zahn for predicts. And I don't know how reliable that is. I mean, ultimately, there, there are quite a few tools for prediction within PNZ at this point. But uh, I'm not sure if it'll be enough, especially if you want to justify playing like the one mana auto spawn one three. But I do feel like Echo will welcome in more flexibility when it comes to deck building compared to the other two champions. Uh, because I feel like Rek'Sai and uh, Pike, especially Rek'Sai, like th those lurk champions are very restricted in regards to how you can build with them, right? But Echo feels more flexible and I really, really, really like that. Uh, I love like I, I wanted to see like how they would implement that, you know, revert time sort of mechanic within this game and uh, the idea of like you know reviving your attackers that died that turn and rallying that just sounds it's such a great way to achieve that i really really like the uh, design of uh chrono break and i love that he generates uh he, i love that he creates them in the deck which means that you have to fish for them as well with your predicts which is uh, amazing fallen feline as well now we have confirmed that uh, whenever you predict, you do shuffle the deck. So even though at first at the at, at, it's at the bottom of your deck, once you shuffle the deck, like that card can be drawn at any point uh, through your predictions, and it, it's really exciting, man. I'm thinking about like obviously the Shurima combo, but I'm thinking about Bilgewater as well, and I'm even thinking like some outside the the box combinations like Noxus and uh, and Demacia too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna read like anything that allows a unit to strike. <laughs> I'm gonna search for it, and I'm gonna see if I can make an Echo deck out of it because. The value, man. The absolute value. But it is important to focus more than anything on leveling them up. But I think it's just it's a legitimately easy level up requirement. And from that point onwards, man, you know, having having the, such an easy time to draw, I, I fucking love it. I really, really do like these cards. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I don't know if um if Twitter has has anything. I'm gonna be right back and see if there are like more cards revealed uh, alongside in the Twitter, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna look at it right now. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Indeed, we do have uh, the cards here with the graphics. We're gonna leave a like, but uh, nothing new to say, but it, it, it does help me, like this graphic does help me out with the, with talking about the cards specifically, because uh, there's quite a bit to, to mention here. Like I said, we have Echo here. The two health uh, makes him uh, vulnerable for sure 
to uh, a lot of a lot of removal really having two health as a four drop is definitely a liability but like i said i do believe leveling him up is actually pretty easy it, it really does feel that way there's there's a shurima card that predicts for zero mana and uh, that alongside scrying sands there's just a lot of very cheap ways to predict early on and i do feel like it's a very achievable uh, level up requirement we also know that the called shot is his signature spell which is this card right here that, you know, for two mana draws you one, but then creates the Parallel Convergence, which is this four drop right here. Start a free attack with an e exact copy of Ephemeral of each ally. That's just amazing. Like, Parallel Convergence into Chrono Break, like, I, I just, I love that. I, I, and I love Chrono Break's design. Uh, I, I really like how, because it, it was a little bit tricky to think how they would mix in the predict mechanic with... Uh, him thematically right like how, how you would bring justice to his character and, and what he does like being a time travel sort of character well more or less I, I like to refer him as like a rewinder he just like rewinds time uh in, like recently like it's not like he can go back in time like 100 years ago i mean not that i know of <laughs> naturally so i just I, I i feel like they really did achieve that especially with chrono break and uh, that's that's basically it. We, we did talk about the other cards yesterday. Uh, super excited. I'm not sure who I'm going to play around with first, to be honest. Like, I love Echo. Uh, but it is true that Pike and Rek'Sai will be easier to build. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just eager to get into it. So, that's basically where I'm going to leave it at. Uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think about Echo. Let me know which champion you would like to see first. As I will upload a new video with the new cards tomorrow. So let me know in the comment section down below which one you want to see first, Echo, Rek'Sai, or Pike. And I'm going to stop talking about this whole day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. In case you guys have not checked it out, uh, I have uploaded a video with the patch notes, a Progress Day podcast episode talking about all the balance changes that is like almost two hours long because there's a lot to talk about. And uh, we also had like four people discussing at the same time, right? So that does extend the video a little bit. But I think it's uh, very interesting content for those of you who want to see, you know, the insight of uh, several players in the community. And uh, yeah, it's in it's in the uploads as well. In case you missed it, it was uploaded. Or it should go up earlier than this one uh, because I'll have it so it goes up at 7, exactly when the patch notes are released. So yeah, uh, check that out in case you haven't. And that's basically all I got to say. Have a whole day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.